Yeah, hello scrappers. I wish everybody a happy Easter. It's Easter morning when I'm recording this. And uh, nice about 65 degrees out here. Somewhat sunny, but got a few clouds in the sky, kind of give me a little shade. I'm under the shade tree for what it's worth. The leaves are all pretty small, but it's doing pretty good on shade. I've got this old dishwasher and uh, somebody converted it to a smoker because you know what would be, why would there be copper tubing on a dishwasher unless it's for water inlet or something but uh, <coughs> looks like they did a little southern engineering looks like half a pair of pliers here welded on or brazed and then brazed to the brass <coughs> So we got some brass, we got some copper, got an igniter here, so yeah, why would we have an igniter on a dishwasher? But you can see down inside, got some briquettes, and I got one right there. <coughs> and you can see some down inside, I think, if you can pick it up, I don't know, it might be too dark. Got another little valve here brass so I'm just gonna cut this off and later I'll grind grind the met steel off of there get down to the clean brass and uh, I've got a magnet here so it's not sticking there it is sticking here so I'll have to probably cut around that cut around that piece and see if I can't separate it I can probably cut it here Magnet's not sticking there, so I can probably cut this here, get that piece of bracket off, then cut around that magnetic steel. And I've got rivets or something here, so I'm just going to kind of cut right down the edge, cut the legs off, which I'll probably make a couple cuts up here, and uh, or cut that later. I'm not sure how that's fastened on. I may take the air chisel or something to that, but I'll just get it all get it all cut up and down, and then I'll clean it up, cut around that handle. See, this magnet's not sticking, not sticking there. It is sticking on this pipe, and that's possibly brass. Got some brass here and some here. So, got quite a bit of brass. Magnet doesn't stick on that one either. So that stuff I'll have to clean up later. So I'm mainly going to try to cut around the different items, and then we'll see about cleaning it up. Which this I might go ahead and take it in and see see what we got. So and I might just I'm not sure. I'll deal with that later, I guess. May just have to cut around the cut around the bolt with the plasma cutter and be done with it. So I'm gonna set the camera in the tripod and we'll get we'll get rolling. Looks like that somebody pried that out. So so I'm gonna get set up and back in a bit. Got my dark glasses. Then I get out here in the sun of my my regular glasses. Have auto, that auto tent, so they get dark. Yeah, let's go ahead and top this off. Yeah, using a $200 plasma cutter from Amazon. I think it, thought it had pilot arc, but I guess not, because you can hit it and nothing. But as soon as you get close to it, as soon as you get close to that steel. It makes connection. So I'm just gonna set that copper there for right now. I'm gonna cut this copper off. Okay, there's more copper. Now it's out of the way for this piece.
Yeah, it's got a little bitty tip on there. I'm not sure if you can see that. Don't know if the camera's focused in or not. I've got the monitor. I don't have the monitor flipped around. Okay, now it's in. Got this right here. That's stainless. Once I clean it up, now I'll cut around that piece. Got that magnetic steel out of the way. Here we go. I think I'll cut the end of that off. Probably use if I laid this over on its side to do that. Cut it in, get inside, and see what I got inside. So I'm gonna cut this handle off of here. This looks like a handle.
across on that piece. And let's see if we can cut this. I used one of these old commercial dishwashers way back when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah, eight, about 18, 19. Yeah, I may have to get my flashlight and kind of look in there and see what, where I missed. <laughs> yeah, back in the day, 18, 19, lived up in Washington State, worked at Gallup's Fair, and when I worked at a restaurant there at the fair, dishwashing so I think that was about <laughs> the only job I had in the food industry okay, I'm gonna grab a flashlight and uh, kind of take a look and see what spots I missed right in here I'll hit that real quick kind of cuts it fuses back together. We'll start right here. There it is. Let's see what we got inside. Hard to get a little bit of weight right there. Hey, maybe 20 pounds by itself right there. <coughs> Had to get the tractor in a little bit to bring my uh, bin over. There's our burner. I don't know if that's stainless or... Yep. Magnet is sticking. <coughs> that's shred. That'll go... I'll just throw that right there for now. I'm going in the trailer. Yeah, what do we got in here? Those are rivets. 
they don't go all the way in. And there's a shelf in here. <coughs> uh, got some pipe coming in the back. Let's see if that shelf is magnetic. Nope. That's kind of in the way. Yeah, I'm wondering if I can't take the air chill and chisel that off of there, those, those rivets. I have something down there catching that. So I may just have to lay this over and take one side apart and then take the other side apart. And see what we got. Thick bracket right here, just bolted on right there. Yeah, it's not too unwrapped. I gotta make a cut inside here. I need to make this cut here, then I can see right where I'm at. Yeah, I thought this might just be easy, just chop, 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 and get it all off, all the pieces off right now, you know, but doesn't look like it now. Like there's internal pieces just hanging on to it. Kinda of wanting to come loose, kinda of, sorta. Of.
loose on this side, but not on this side. So, not sure what I gotta do there. I think it's this flat piece in here, inside here. <laughs> yeah, thinking about moving the camera over there so you guys get a look at it, but you'll see it here in a minute. Yeah, I thought I could just cut around them legs and come right off. Pretty likely. Uh, you can see that kind of shelf in there now. At least I think you can see that shelf. Try to zoom in a little bit on it. The zooming in probably doesn't help a whole lot. It gets darker. Okay, so propane gas regulator. And now you get the bottom of that cut out, which is it's upside down, so the bottom is the top. But I knew I needed it cut out to where I could see what, what I had inside. See what I was up against. Now. See if I can knock it out of there. And I don't think the magnet sticks to anything here. Nope. I need to check that piece of strap going across. That doesn't stick. That's nice. I think I can.
don't know if I want to try to clean that up or just go ahead and toss it. Yeah, I might take the air chisel to it and see what I can do. Yeah, let's go ahead and cut this out of the way. Getting there slowly. out of there. Now Get a little closer to the uh, plasma cutter. Legs off. Moving right along.
You guys can see this plasma cutter still doing good. Change tip every now and then, but. Cutting up a lot of short iron the last couple of days. Yesterday I did a lot of uh, brush work yesterday cleaning up the circle drive. Wife and daughter want to have a yard sale here about a month or so, so I was busy out there all day. cut I just made really wasn't necessary. That's just making it a little smaller, easier to handle. What's holding it? There we go. Like I said, magnet does not stick. Screen. Slowly coming along. Yeah, believe it or not, it's the wife that suggested I do a video cutting this thing down.
Yeah, better wait there. Okay, get this leg cut off of here. And then I'll uh, reposition the camera and all that good stuff. Okay. Slid it up on there. Took this into the workbench, the air chisel, and that came off pretty easy. So there's a couple rivets that weren't even already weren't even connected. So yeah, it cleaned up pretty pretty quick and easy. I got one leg over here. It's got a small small little bolt in it. So so now I have to put a tape on this. See how loose it is. If it's three foot and under. It'll go for short iron here in Oklahoma. Oh yeah, it's only 34 inches. Short iron. Yeah, I've been cutting up quite a bit. I kind of show you what I've been doing here this last three, four days. Three days. But I'll get this cut up first. And uh, seeing a few of these little fire bricks. I probably need to gather these up. And, they might be handy throw them into a pan if I'm annealing some copper or need something to kind of protect the surface. And this door seems to be stuck. So, piece is stainless. So I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this end out. I got a front piece coming in right about here, so I'll try to hold it in a little ways. What the buzzing sound was, so like right now I'm using the external mic outside. It was a little windy earlier, but it's real calm right now. And if I run the external mic in the shop and have the, my little monitor plugged in then I get that buzzing sound so if, I want, if I'm going to use a monitor in there I have to use the camera mic and the camera mic sounds real good too so uh, and now outside like right now I'm not using the external monitor so I can use the external mic Yeah, I hooked up the air chisel a little bit ago so I could knock that nameplate off of there. I wanted to check the rivets, make sure they're not that magnet doesn't stick. I didn't think they would. I was thinking, I was making that cut, I said, I was thinking, man, this I'm having more fun on this dishwasher than any other dishwasher I've scrapped. Probably gonna pay a lot better than any other dishwasher I've got too.
heavy piece. Okay. Now, I think my tool go. There it is. I should have put it under that hole and kept everything out that hole. I think pretty much everything else can go out that hole. Okay, so. I think what I will do Cut this other side off, and then I'll do the ends. Well, I got that little piece yet too, so okay, we're getting there. Yeah, I got this handle on the door too. So. Actually, you know what I think I'll do? Uh, I don't have to bend over. Now. He'll go this way.
that was fun. Sometimes clean stuff up. Yeah, this plasma cutter, I could probably turn the voltage down and turn the air pressure down, but I pretty well run on, uh, just, I just set it on 50 volts and about 30 pounds of air and just cut everything on that. Okay. Got a few spots to fuse back together, I guess. stuff bolted on. Okay, it looks like maybe a 7 16 I got a bolt here. Let's put a wrench on the inside, I guess. cast iron. Okay, I went and got a wrench. I was going to spray those bolts of WD-40 and off camera. Man, that doesn't really want to fit on there. That it unbolted it. I don't know if there's so much rust or if it was maybe metric. But that's off of there anyway. Now we got one here. This one's missing the pulley. That one twisted off. I'm gonna have to check and see these pull see what these pulleys are made out of. Yeah, that's what I thought. Magnets not sticking, so they could be aluminum, could be brass. A little piece 
piece right there. Okay. Okay. I went over to <coughs> look at the camera to show you guys some other stuff and the monitor is black, so I don't know. The bigger the battery went dead on me. I got everything cut up. I'm not sure exactly where the video ended, but I found out these rivets come loose pretty easy with the uh, air chisel. But I wanted to kind of show you guys what I got done out here. I got to pull the motor off of that. And then I'll put that one and this other one on there. I got all that area over there cleaned up. Yep. Between there and there. <coughs> Turn this mic around. Cleaned a lot of stuff out of right out of here. <coughs> I need to shut the doors on the trailer. And plus I had stuff here that was piled up across here. So Some of it I just concentrated it up into there and others stuff I've cut up or put on this trailer. I need to fold my ramp up, get it out of the way, close the doors. I still got a little bit of room right here for some little stuff. And then I'm gonna set, like I say, I'll set those two mowers. A couple pieces of wire, I'll probably try to cut off of that one real quick and then maybe cut some wire out of that. But uh, I figure I'll throw that one on there and then I'll scoop this one up get it over by the shop raise it up and get that motor off of it shouldn't be too hard and then I can just bring it right on over and set it on the load and get it strapped off and be ready to take in Tuesday because Monday morning I got to take the wife to the doctor so I could probably take it in Monday if it's, as long as I can get it in before it gets too late but uh I don't know if I want to try to rush it around or just just wait take it in Tuesday morning. They're talking some rain Monday morning anyway, so I still got to get out there and break all those furnaces down, get the wire out of them. A little bit of brass maybe and a little copper, so not a whole lot. So I've got some aluminum here, so I still got to try to clean up in this area, but I think I'm ready to start running some ads. I got some room now. And uh, we'll see what we can do. So I want to thank everybody for stopping by. Good to have you along. Like I said, I got quite a bit of stainless out of there, a little bit of shred. I'm going to get the tractor and bring the stainless bin over here and toss all that in there. So I may have to take a load of stainless in pretty soon. And then I got that piece to clean up. So, a little bit of brass or whatever, copper maybe, probably brass. So, that little plasma cutter's been doing a good job. So, I'm really happy with the purchase. It's making things go a lot easier than what they could be going. And I got some brass there, so I can do that today or tomorrow. Like I say, if it's a little sprinkling here and there tomorrow, I'll be all right. I got those. Square aluminum tubing, I'll probably cut it up, throw it in. It's kind of dark in here, but I got this aluminum pipe and I got some extruded aluminum right there. I'm going to cut it down where it'll fit in the bar barrels better. There's Oreo. There goes no tail. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching and uh, remind you about the Amazon affiliate link. I ha do have, I think, two different sellers on Amazon that have this model of a plasma cutter they're right at two hundred dollars and then as far as consumables I think I got three different three different amount ones linked on there and the one that has the most the most expensive one is really the best deal you get a lot more parts so this little hospital cart comes in pretty handy for having the plasma cutter on and yeah, lead part here, I'll wrap it up and put it on this shelf. Then I just kind of loop the ground cable over here. So then I can hang a grinder on it if I want with a cutting disc. 
that works out pretty good. So you guys take care and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.